Would you kindly tell our new supporters and the old ones how you became so impassioned about population issues? I was studying biology at the University of California in San Diego and one day I went into class and my biochemistry professor told everyone to close their books and instead he sh showed us a short film and that film was about population. When this issue was first brought up to me, I was probably 20, 21 years old, and it sort of shocked me that I had never thought about this issue before. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm a real believer that this is uh, the greatest, this is the driver and the accelerant of all our other environmental issues. A lot of people, when I talk about population, will say, no, it's, it's not about population, it's about consumption. But of course, uh, there's a, a fantastic quote from um, one of my favorite population activists, uh, Paul Ehrlich, who said, um, you know, saying that it's only consumption and not population is like saying the area of a rectangle is determined only by its length and not by its width. Of course, both of those things have an impact. So however, how many people you have on the planet multiplied by their consumption and together that gives you our human impact on the planet. Uh, Population Matters is one of a few organizations globally actually, and if not a lonely voice in the UK, that makes a connection between human population growth as well as the accelerating environmental crisis. As an environmentalist and someone who now understands this connection, what more do you think we can do to, you know, create awareness? I had figured out sort of a clever way to bring it up to strangers. So, you know, when you're flying and traveling, one of the one of the first questions that people tend to ask is, do you have kids? And I would always answer saying, uh, actually, no, my husband and I are child-free by choice. And I found that just by adding those last two little words by choice, that would open up uh, for discussion. Have you faced any social pressures, you know, any unfair criticism for your choice? I got thousands and thousands of people telling me I should commit suicide. Um, what is the point of you being on the planet if you're not going to, to bring life into it, if you're not going to procreate? Um, if you're really trying to reduce your carbon footprint, then um, you know the best thing you could do is to kill yourself so that you're um, not making a carbon footprint anymore. Um, it was really horrific. It was it was shocking. So you worked on a movie, Wrestling Extinction, which I watched and really loved, and well, it was revealing. Obviously, the biodiversity loss it was it's immense. What do you say about? because we are headed towards uh, the six mass extinction, you know. From what I saw, it was scary. The racing extinction is about the six mass extinction of species that we're currently living through. Um, so right now, species are disappearing at a rate that is about a thousand times faster than the natural background rate of extinction. And obviously this loss of biodiversity um, has a really negative effect on the overall health of the ecosystem. We need a getaway driver and I knew one of the best. I love it. Uh, Oceanic Preservation Society makes documentary films that are meant to um, inspire people to want to change the way that they're living on the planet. So this is a really important film that I hope people will watch. Do you know a lot of vegans who also care about the population issue? You know, do they make that connection um, you know, I feel like in general population is something that a lot of people are uncomfortable talking about, including vegans. I got into a, an online argument with a vegan that once uh, was proposing that vegans need to breed as much as possible because we need to bring more vegans into the world. And of course, um, you know, I argued back and said, no, you know, you bring a child into this world and first of all, there's no guarantee that that child will stay vegan. And secondly, why don't we just try and convert the people that are already here? And maybe you could tell us, why is it so important for us to 
choose a plant-based diet. Um, it's much more efficient. We would be able to serve uh, far more people food. And, uh, it could really cure world hunger um, if people were to reduce or eliminate meat and dairy intake. And um, the environmental impact of, of our meat and dairy industry is something that we actually cover in our film Racing Extinction. So I think being vegan is one of the easiest ways to reduce your carbon footprint and um, of course having few or no children. Actually the number one thing that you can do to reduce your carbon footprint is to not have children or to have a smaller family. Um, so there's a fantastic uh, graphic that I'm hoping you can put up um, that shows what your carbon reduction is by driving an electric car or going vegan and comparing that with not bringing another child into the world. Um, and it is by far the most impactful decision that you can make. So I try and do everything that I can um, to reduce my carbon footprint. Um, my house is powered by solar power. Um, I drive an electric car that I've been driving since 2013. Um, so, and, and it's also charged by solar, so I'm literally driving off of sunshine. Um, I, uh, I'm vegan. I've been vegan since 2011, both myself and my husband. Um, all of those things are fantastic ways to reduce our carbon footprint, but of course, um, none of those is, is as big of an impact as the fact that we uh, chose to be child-free. Thank you.